Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking scrubs, the art of physical exfoliation. Physical exfoliation has got such a bad reputation here on YouTube, with often influencers gasping and looking shocked when anyone would reach for a scrub or a polish as their preferred method of exfoliation. But is it really that bad? I'm going to be breaking it down in this video today. I'm going to be sharing with you my favourite physical exfoliants. I'm going to be teaching you how you can use them safely in your own skincare routine. And of course, we'll be delving into the pros and cons of chemical versus physical exfoliation. So sit back, relax, and let's talk physical exfoliation. Physical exfoliants are tiny beads usually trapped within a cleanser that we massage onto the skin and gently buff away the dead skin cells which are clinging onto the gorgeous fresh radiant skin beneath. Similar with chemical exfoliants, by using them on a regular basis you'll be able to bring back some vibrancy, luminosity and help to resurface the skin. Whilst they used to be the go-to method for exfoliation, around five years ago, chemical or acid exfoliants captured the world by storm and now the go-to for most people. I do, however, feel that physical exfoliants still have a place in people's skincare routines and there is that gap in the market where they still exist. And I want to share with you my thoughts and feelings on physical exfoliation in today's video. Also, how you can use them safely and some of the best products on the market. You'll often hear scare stories around how using a physical exfoliant can lead to micro tears in the skin can exacerbate hyperpigmentation and cause scarring. Whilst the jury's out on whether this is actually the case, there have been some studies that show that this can happen if they're used incorrectly. There are others that say this actually isn't happening. And whilst there was a class action lawsuit taken against the St. Ives apricot scrub, this ultimately failed because there was no evidence that it was actually leading to these sort of effects in the skin. Similarly, we need to remember that if used incorrectly, chemical or acid exfoliation can also have major side effects and can cause damage to the skin. So it's often seen as like the worst cousin, but if you use either type of exfoliant incorrectly, they will lead to damage in the skin, which is why it's super important to use them correctly and safely for your skin. So I guess this is what I'm going to shoot on to now, how we can get the most out of our physical exfoliants in a safe way way. First and foremost, product is key. As with a lot of things in skincare, physical exfoliants aren't all created equally. The particles and the little beads that are used as the method of physical exfoliation vary in size and texture across different products. You'll tend to find in more affordable, less expensive drugstore products, they tend to use cheaper ingredients to create that um, buffering on the skin. So things like pumice or ground up nutshell, which can be very abrasive and can lead to some sensitivity and damage to the skin. If you reach out for slightly more expensive products, you'll often see them formulated with waxes and oils which melt and blend into the skin so are less likely to cause any abrasions and are less are more forgiving with how you apply the product. I'm certainly not a snob when it comes to skincare. I love, love, love the drugstore and most of my products come from that affordable, beautiful price point. However, I think when it comes to physical exfoliants, paying a little bit more to get a smoother bead and to get a better texture to the product is going to be beneficial and is more forgiving if we don't always apply it in exactly the right way. All of the products I'm going to reference later are super gentle and so I think really can be used with confidence by people who select them. Second of all, it's really important to apply the very lightest pressure when using the products. We see the word scrub and we often think that goes in really vigorous. I won't recommend you do that with any of your skincare products. I think super gentle, only the minimal lightest pressure applied will give a really effective exfoliation over the long term but will minimize any damage or risk that you can do to the skin. I like to just do it as a gentle facial massage. It should be an enjoyable experience and you shouldn't be feeling too much pressure or um, too much scrubbing on the skin. Third, super important to make sure that you have that slip and glide to the skin when you're using the product. Often these are formulated with oils or you'll add water if it's in the form of a cream cleanser before starting the massage. This is super important and never do it on dry skin. An oil or a water will help these beads to glide over the skin. It'll minimize friction and so you won't get as many you know, chances of tears or abrasions in the skin using it in a much more safe way. I love the fact that the products I'm recommending later all combine some elements of oil so have that built in slip so if you do forget to apply enough water to the product it's minimizing any chances of side effects or damage to the skin because it's kind of built into the product itself 
Finally, I want to call out that I don't think you should be using a physical exfoliator more than twice a week. Some products, particularly those at the drugstore, will say safe for daily use, but in my experience, I think twice a week is the optimum when it comes to physical exfoliation. You can use it in conjunction on alternate days with a chemical exfoliant if you do want to mix these two types of exfoliation, but I would never recommend you use a chemical and a physical exfoliant on the same day, and I would never usually use a physical exfoliant more than twice a week. That's just because however you use it and however properly you apply the product it is giving a light abrasion to the skin and I really don't think you should be using it on a daily basis all this being said I think it is perfectly possible for people even with the most sensitive skin if they choose the right product to use a physical exfoliant it can be a great way of exfoliating if you do have sensitive skin because a lot of people in that category find that the exfoliating acids can just be a little bit triggering a little bit too harsh on their skin type so a physical exfoliation done correctly with the right product can give a really great result and minimize that sense sensitivity and redness. So shall we cut the waffle and jump straight on into my product recommendations that I know you're all here for. First and foremost, I want to start with the Paula's Choice on Scrub. Now, I'm not always the biggest fan of Paula's Choice and they've recently been taken over by Unilever, which I know has left a lot of people feeling a little cold. I capped my thoughts on this in a recent video, which I'm going to link up there so I don't have to talk about it all in this video. But I do still think, despite everything that's going on, Paula's Choice do have some good products within their collection and their on scrub is definitely one of the best. They use um, beads of jojoba oil as the gentle exfoliant. This is fantastic because it melts into the skin, it minimizes any risk of using too much pressure or too much force when applying the product and honestly it leaves your skin feeling velvety smooth and beautifully hydrated. This is a great option if you have sensitive skin or dry skin because it's fragrance free and that jojoba will just help to nourish and hydrate the skin as you get that gentle exfoliation. Of all the products I recommend today I think this is the one that you can use more frequently than maybe some of the others I'll be recommending but for me definitely twice a week using this over a period of a couple of months you'll see that gorgeous smoothness to the skin it will really help to bring back some vibrancy and luminosity to the skin and it's just a hands down fantastic product as I said before Paula's Choice they're not the most inexpensive brand out there but I do think when it comes to physical exfoliants it's worth paying a little bit more because you're getting that quality exfoliating ingredient in this case the beads of jojoba oil which are more expensive to formulate with but I think do give just better overall results. Now, second of all, I'm going to call out the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. So I know Liz Earl can sometimes be seen as a little bit fuddy-duddy. The marketing maybe isn't the most exciting. And I think as a brand, they could do a whole thing about their presentation. However, when products work, I wanted to put all that to one side because honestly, this hot cloth cleanser is stunning. The cleanser itself doesn't actually have any exfoliating beads within it. It's all done with this, which is a muslin cloth that you get with the product. How this works is you apply the beautiful buttery cleanser onto the skin, which has shea butter in there and other really rich emollients. Again, making it fantastic for people with drier or combination dry skin type. It works beautifully on the skin to remove all of the excess dirt, debris, pollution, SPF, makeup, all of it gone and then you rather than just washing it off with your hands you then wash it off with this which is the muslin cloth this is where the physical exfoliant comes in because these muslin cloths have a very slight abrasion to them as you're wiping it off the skin that's how it gently sloths off those dead skin cells technically you could use a muslin cloth with any cleanser you don't have to use it with this specific hot cloth cleanser but I find the two in combination that beautiful buttery cleanse with the really nice gentle muslin cloth I think are just a match made in heaven you can buy muslin cloth online to pair it with your favorite cleanser but if you do do that just make sure that you're not pairing the muslin cloth with another physical exfoliator within a cleanser because that could be too much for the skin but with a standard cleanser and using a beautiful muslin cloth alongside it you can get a really nice gentle and effective physical exfoliation. Now finally I'm going to come on to what I think has been one of my favorite discoveries in the past couple of months and that's the Madara exfoliating scrub. This is an oil to milk style of cleanser and honestly it is stunning. When I talked again before about maybe paying a little bit more for the product because it's formulated with slightly more gentle ingredients that can be a little bit more expensive, this is with wax beads. Super smooth, super gentle, and honestly, you get such an effective exfoliation from using this product. I love the blend of oils that are in here. It just sends the skin, first of all, it smells divine, but it also sends the skin into this beautiful, soft, smooth state, and it's a great way to start your whole skincare routine. I love 
love the wax in here because again, super gentle and almost melts as you're working it into the skin, meaning the amount of pressure you apply is less important here with this style of product than it would be with some of the harsher scrubs on the market. It's a much more forgiving product and honestly, it delivers such great results. You work it into the skin with the oil and then you add water and it dissolves into this beautiful milky emulsion and washes down the sink completely, leaving no trace in the skin. Just one use of this and I find that my skin is more luminous, my skin feels smoother, and it's already just a guaranteed good skin day. I love this product and whilst it's not the cheapest out there, again, the formulation I think justifies that slightly higher price point and it's entirely cruelty free as are all of the recommendations that I've made today. So there you have it guys, my guide to scrubs and the art of physical exfoliation. Hopefully in this video I've demonstrated that scrubs don't need to be the demons that are often presented as being within the skincare community. If you like the sensation of that scrub and using a physical exfoliant, there are some great options out there. I've highlighted just three, but there are some stunning ones on the market and I'd love if you'd share your favorite physical exfoliants in the comments section below. Make sure whatever physical exfoliant you choose, you're applying it correctly. The lightest pressure possible, choosing a product that matches your skin type, and of course, making sure you've got enough slip and slide to really work that in with a minimum amount of friction. I have honestly moved almost entirely to chemical exfoliants, but there are times when I do find that physical scrub a little bit satisfying and sometimes just delivers that instant fix that I'm looking for. Hopefully this has given you a little bit of food for thought. While you're down there in the comment section, if you could give this video a big thumbs up, it'd be much appreciated. And wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.